Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a baby related video. I'm going to be giving you a brief introduction about my entire journey of weaning my baby to solids. I'm going to be answering some of your very common questions and you know questions of confusion that new parents may have. You know from everything from you know what are the signs you need to look out for, when you need to wean them to solids, what are some beginner foods that are safe for the baby to start with and the equipment that you may you know need. So all those questions are going to be answered in this very video. If this is your first time stopping by my channel then hi I'm Sanya and I make beauty, lifestyle, fashion and mom related videos. Do subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with as many new mommies and daddies as possible. If you're not following me on Instagram, do follow me. My Instagram handle will be right here. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's first start out with what kind of weaning method did I choose for my son. So I chose uh, the traditional way as all of you already know there is a traditional weaning and then there's baby led weaning. Now really baby led weaning is so common on Instagram and social media everyone wants to try that but I chose uh, traditional weaning because that just uh, you know suits my schedule and uh, you know the people who take care of him when I'm not at home you know when I go to work and it just makes everyone's life easier uh, and for various other purposes by choice I have chosen traditional weaning and uh, obviously I'm not forcing anyone to choose traditional or baby led it's absolutely your choice make a very informed decision uh, don't just get influenced by social media because that's something that's very common and then it just goes downhill if it doesn't suit your lifestyle and schedule and preferences so according to all those three factors, I chose traditional weaning. Now, very common question occurs as to when one should, uh, you know, wean their baby to solids. So now the common time when usually babies get weaned off to solids, at least they start their journey is six months. However, there are some babies who show signs of, you know, readiness even before six months. And uh, there is no uh, harm in starting them on solids before that. However, you do need to consult with your doctor. You need to observe the baby very well. And you know, you need to look out for the signs uh, that the baby is ready for solids, which I'm going to now outline. So don't worry if your baby is showing signs before six months. Don't ignore those signs. It's absolutely fine. My son started solids at five and a half months. There are friends of mine who started even at five months and that's absolutely normal. So don't keep your baby hungry if he's showing signs of, you know, wanting to start solids before six months. It's absolutely fine and normal. So don't be hassled. <laughs> so now I'll be highlighting what are the, uh, you know, signs that you need to look out for to understand whether your baby is ready for solids. These are very simple signs. You just need to observe your baby very well or ask the caregiver who is, uh, you know, taking care of them during the day or whenever you're not there to just observe them very well and inform you. So the first sign that you need to look out for is if they are able to hold their head. Okay, so uh, the minute they are able to hold their head, at least they will have that control to, you know, sit up and eat. If they, uh, the worst thing that you can ever do is make them sleep and eat. I know that is something that our parents did and we are still alive, but that's not the right way. We should totally get rid of that. Even if, you know, elders or anyone around you may put pressure on you, don't, you know, succumb to the pressure. So holding of their head is the first sign that you need to look out for when you you know think that your baby would be ready for solids the next sign that you need to look out for is if your baby is able to sit up with support now what do i mean by sit up with support so basically the baby is able to uh, sit with maybe like a cushion or like a chair support or your support uh, and you know that is something that you need to look out for because again as i told you you don't want to make the baby sleep any that's absolutely wrong so the first sign is head holding second sign is able to sit with support uh, it's not necessary that they have to sit independently with support is fine now the next sign that you need to look out for is something a little humorous but yeah that is one of the signs so basically if you notice your baby staring at you uh, when you're trying to eat your food or is very curious to you know reach out to your food that is a sign that your baby is trying to you know uh, understand what is that action going on there at the dining table 
uh, that is one of the signs they just get very curious they just stare at you like as if they're just going to come and eat all your food so yeah that's one of the very common signs that we look out for when we are trying to understand if the baby is ready for solids if they stare if they are very curious to know what you're eating if they look at you the way like you know a very puppy dog face like they just want to eat everything that you are eating that is the third sign that you need to look out for so the next sign to look out for is the tongue thrust now what is a tongue thrust is basically you take a if you, you can just take a spoon to test this skill and put it in the baby's mouth obviously clean it very well and put it in the baby's mouth if the baby pushes the spoon away with its tongue if the baby is not ready for solids if the baby accepts the spoon and you know doesn't uh, push it away with the with the tongue then the baby is ready and you know that you can start your solids so that is the tongue thrust when they they try to do this they try to you know put their tongue out now why they do that is because from birth they are used to either sucking the nipple or either the uh, the nipple of the bottle or either the breast so that's the, they are sucking motion that they are you know used to very often but when they are uh, when they are given solids they have to learn that the tongue has to be inside and they have to swallow the food so that is the tongue thrust method where you need to test if your baby is ready now the last sign that you can look out for is if your baby is hungry like anything in spite of giving repeated feedings uh now uh, what happened to my son at least i noticed is that he was very hungry all the time like he was like taking in milk a lot and i'm not talking about cluster feeding cluster feeding is you know when they take uh, feedings quite often in the day but this is like in spite of giving them a lot of milk they are still hungry they like you know their hunger is not satiated so that is one more sign that you can look out for if you see that your baby is constantly hungry in spite of giving a lot of milk and everything so these were some of the signs that you can look out for when you are trying to observe your baby and understand whether he or she is ready to be weaned off to solids now i will be explaining to you what are the basic kind of equipment that i bought for my son when i started the you know entire journey of weaning to solids and uh, they are very like you know simple equipment there's nothing great about it i'm sure there are some things that you already have at home so let's get started with that so the first thing that i got my son was this steamer as you can see over here it looks something like that I'll just hold it down so it looks something like that and it's like a two compartment thing it opens like this and you put the water in here and uh, you put the vegetables or the fruits in here now uh, this is from the uh, amazon solimo brand and uh, the reason why you need a steamer is because uh, none of the fruits apart from banana should be given raw uh, they need fruits or vegetables rather both cannot be given raw to the child because the child is too small to be able to process raw foods their digestive system is not ready so you need to steam everything i would recommend steaming to boiling because the nutrients according like to whatever research i did i feel the nutrients are more retained when you steam food rather than boiling unless you are making soups and all when they grow older then that's okay if you are boiling but as far as possible when you start your journey of weaning try your best to steam food now this is not the only steamer i'm sure there are many steamers out there in the market that might be cheaper or more expensive that's according to your budget this was around 649 which i thought uh, was a good uh, deal because the uh, you know it's uh, this particular piece is pretty durable till now i've been using it for a long time and i have no problem with this it's been doing a great job so i highly recommend this and all the product links whatever products i show you will all be in the description box so do check that out now the next thing that i bought my son was this silicon spoon now this is by the brand love lab now this is not just any silicon spoon this is the one that detects if the food is hot so what happens is that this particular spoon when you put it in the food and if it's more than 40 degrees celsius it becomes white like this part becomes white and then you can understand that the food is too hot for the baby so you can wait for some time and then serve the food to the baby obviously you want to serve uh, warm food and not hot food another brand that makes a uh, very similar spoons is the munchkin brand i will put that link also in the description box so whichever is your budget accordingly you can buy it and there are various uh, brands out there in the market but i would vouch for love lap and munchkin you can just see whichever is your budget and which you prefer and buy accordingly 
Now, why did I buy a silicone spoon? Uh, the reason for that is because the baby's gums are very tender at this age. They are not very strong. They are not completely developed. So if you put a steel spoon or any other metal spoon in their mouth, it could hurt their gums. Now, I know it's a tradition in India to give them food in a silver spoon or, you know, things like that. At least if you want, give the chandi ka uh, bowl is fine that you can still pass off. But at least the spoon, you uh, you know, buy a silicon spoon because you don't want to hurt their gums. And uh, after a few months, like after six, seven months, they will start teething as well. So you don't want to hurt it or, you know, uh, cause any kind of discomfort. Already they'll be going through a lot of itching with regard to the teething process. And you don't want to make their life more difficult. So buy a silicon spoon. That's heat detecting. Now, the next thing that I got my son, uh, specifically only for him because we used to never use this before, was this kind of blender. Now, this is like that bullet kind of blender which you get a lot of brands today are making this. This is from this random brand called Kajafa. I got this from Dmart. Now, the reason why I didn't buy like a very big branded, like I know you get this in uh, Wonder Chef and Nutribullet and so many other great brands. But the reason why I got this one was because I felt like it was only for him. We were not going to, uh, you know, do something some heavy duty blending and stuff only blending or puree so that's why I didn't want to spend too much of money I got this for around 1000 150 or something like that and I think it was a great deal I think that was the MRP and then DMART has their own discount so it was less than thousand bucks so if you are uh, somewhere on DMART you can totally pick this up otherwise if you already have a Nutribullet or a Wonder Chef at home then you can just use that only that's absolutely fine but I just wanted like a dedicated bl dedicated blender only for him because in our uh, family blender we tend to you know blend masalas and things like that so I just wanted a dedicated one for him so I got this one this is very useful in making purees soups and any other kind of food for the baby so a great buy now before I go to the next uh, product I would just like to give you a little small advice uh, I know as first time parents we get very excited to buy various kinds of things for our babies and nowadays in the market there are so many uh, technologically advanced things that we feel like buying everything. Now I remember when I was uh, doing my research I found that there were these baby food processors. Now let me tell you they're not required absolutely they're first of all like A they're very expensive and B they you know uh, just add to the amount of stuff we buy our babies and the baby gear so they're just not required with these basic equipments that I'm showing you you'll be absolutely fine and there will be nothing to worry about so don't buy any of those food processors that you get for babies now the last thing that I would recommend for your weaning journey is this bowl and masher set uh, now this is from the brand Fisher Price it's basically you get like a masher which is like that and then you get a bowl now i'm not too sure if the camera is catching it i think it's not uh, so basically uh, why i bought this particular bowl and masher was because first of all this bowl it has these lines over here okay so when you are trying to mash a banana or mash any kind of fruit these lines help in uh, you know providing a little extra friction so it mashes faster another thing is that this you know is very convenient so you just go on mashing it i know in the market you can just buy a simple steel masher that you mash potato with you can do that as well it's absolutely your choice but i just bought this like again a very de dedicated utensil for my son i just wanted to keep uh, stuff uh, just for him i didn't want to mix it with our family utensils that we use because i just feel it you can sterilize it and it just makes it easier and more hygienic so this is something that i bought my son it's very cost effective quite affordable uh, so yeah this is a great option you get it in different colors and stuff so you can totally get this for your children so those were all the weaning equipments that I bought. They were, as you can, as you saw, those are very simple equipments. There was nothing fancy about it. This is enough to start you off on your journey and even go further. Like my son is eight and a half months now and I still use only these things. There's no fancy equipment that I'm using for him. So yeah, so these were all the equipments that you need to get for your baby before they start their, uh, you know, weaning to solids journey. Now in this last segment, I'll just be telling you some very simple foods that you can start for your baby at least in the first week. Uh, now let me tell you that when you start your solace journey, I know we all get very excited and we want to, you know, give the baby a lot of meals and everything. But please be patient because till the age of 10 months, 
breast milk or formula milk is supposed to be their primary source of nutrition okay this is something that has that is always prescribed by pediatricians as well the world over now uh, just the reason why we even start solids at six months is just to get them started on that journey so that by the time they are one year old they are able to you know eat all the meals and they are able to you know keep up with their age and eat accordingly uh, I would recommend that you start off only with one meal a day the rest all the meals are supposed to be either breast milk or formula milk so do not be in a hurry and serve them like breakfast lunch and dinner and stuff do not do that that's absolutely wrong just serve one meal a day and that should be enough absolutely enough okay so in this last segment I'm going to be telling you what are some of the safe fruits and vegetables that you can start your baby on in the first week at least so some of the safest fruits would be banana apple and pear these are very safe to give banana you do not have to steam apple and pear you have to then with regard to the vegetables you can give carrot you can give pumpkin you know things like that now uh, you may have a question as to how much quantity you have to give the baby now when the baby is just starting that is their first time they are starting with solids they are transitioning from a very liquid diet to like semi solids so for starters you can give them one to one and a half tablespoon depending upon how much they are taking now please do not engage in pushing the spoon in the baby's mouth and saying no you have to have if the baby has half tablespoon also let it be give them their space let them explore this entire journey of solids on their own just let take it slow don't be in a hurry to give them like one tablespoon matlab one tablespoon hi khana hai no just be patient understand what the baby wants and you know just be very accommodating there is no hard and fast rule as to no one tablespoon matlab one tablespoon only it's okay if you give him in half it's absolutely fine there will be nothing that will happen to the baby and gradually you can increase it week by week so that was my brief information on how you can start your entire journey of solids if you want me to make a video with regard to how to make purees or any recipes for babies with regard to the foods that I give my son then please do let me know down in the comments below I would be very happy to do such a video for you because I know it can be super confusing for first time parents just as it was for, my, for me and I did a lot of research and then I came to this conclusion of you know how I could give solids to my child so I hope this video was helpful and do let me know if you want me to make more videos on weaning to solids. I would be happy to make those and until next time, bye.